section here's the big red one dollar there all right so just a cute little fun sun catcher snail for springtime go ahead and open this up I've done other crafts from the target dollar section you can find those on my blog I've done reviews of a couple of them um, I did some other snail crafts too so you can find those I'll post the link to that specific article down below of the one where I did the other snail activities. So this is a simple kit. Comes with the snail sun cutter, um, three different colors of paint, a little string to hang the snail up, and a paintbrush, of course. That has something to paint the snail with. Okay. So let's start with this dark blue color. Now I don't have the most efficient setup here. And let's see the instructions. Even though it's pretty straightforward, remove all from the packaging. Dun, dun, dun. And close the black lines that are raised. Okay, so we're painting this side of the snow. And they want me to put, I know I should have read the instructions first, but you know. Okay. This is gonna be a long video of me trying to do this a very simple craft properly. See, I'm gonna make another video on the difference between blogging and vlogging. And one of the differences, you know, when I was doing the other crafts, just blogging them, um, any struggles you have, you know, you can just write about it. And <laughs> it doesn't add a lot of time onto the video, of course. I know I can always edit. Okay, snail is has its string and we're gonna start with blue I mean yeah I know I can always edit videos but I don't know I'm like I like reality like you know things aren't perfect and that's just how things are that's kind of how I am like I'll post things on social media that people you know wouldn't post like pictures where I don't look my best where I have acne or dandruff in my hair or things like that you know things that people would be like uh, oh, never post that and I'm like it's real life life is far from perfect <laughs> you know and I think that's one reason why I like art so much because you know I tell people when they're like oh, I'm no good at art you know and I've even thought that myself it's like art's not science art is an expression of your own personal creativity and ideas there there's really no right or wrong you know everyone's like oh it doesn't look realistic and realism's great but if that's not what you do then that's totally fine you know people are just too hard on themselves sometimes you know me me included all right so we're painting the blue on our snail shell i actually like to draw snails snails is one of the things i really enjoy drawing i'm looking up because there's a picture I draw, summer's my favorite season, so I draw a summer picture each month, and there's one where I did a bunch of snails on it. That's summer 2016. That was a good summer. Disneyland's anniversary, 60th anniversary. Okay, so I did some blue on the shell. Let's open up the green color. Green is actually my favorite color. Fun fact for you, for those of you still watching four minutes here into this video. Now these colors aren't showing up the best, but I think that's how it's supposed to be with the sun catcher, right? <laughs> See, I enjoy doing art, but I'm not an art expert by any means of the word. Um, I used to do preschool. I just recently um, started doing massage therapy and receptionist full time. But um, doing arts and crafts was my favorite thing to do with the kids. 
it's so cool also see what the kids are creating you know when they don't have that worry about the judgment at that age you know and they're just kind of like making their art and having fun it's good to see that it's good it's a good thing to remember just have fun general rule of life too you know within reason but yes <laughs> all right and we're gonna open the orange 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 bob orange okay Gonna mix a little orange into our snail. Snail looks very glossy, like lip gloss. Throw a little orange on there. But seriously, art's amazing, and we need to take more time for art, or just you know the things that you enjoy in general you know it's important i know life is life is crazy busy to take time to do you know the things we really enjoy and you know have have some stress relief have a good time doing it you now remember to take time for yourself okay so i'm mixing my orange in now my snail, snail actually looks pretty awesome if i do say so myself. Slowly. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more paint, and then we're gonna call it good. Gonna add some green, green. Yes, I know I'm a terrible singer. You don't need to comment that, but once again, I like to sing. And I'm just, you know, I'm a little weird. And, well, I am weird. Bees weird is wonderful. So I'm like, I'm gonna let my personality really show in this video and just say some things come to my mind. You know where I'm sitting here painting. You can't even see because it's down low. Oh, and if you hear banging on the door, that's my cat Cooper. He actually knows how to open doors, so he may, he may open the door and come on in. Come on, Coop, you can do it. I got paint in my hands. I can't assist you at the moment. Unless it's Sherry. That may be Sherry just scratching, but they were, they were both up there earlier. But sometimes if Cooper sees one of the other cats struggling or upset, he'll come help them because he he can open the door. But I don't know if he went upstairs. Okay. All right. I'm going to call my snail. Officially finished. Ta-da! There is my blue, green, orange snail sun catcher. Ta-da! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll leave a link to that specific blog post below. But feel free to take a look around my blog for more fun. And rock on, guys.